What's up guys, Pinker here. I got an After Effects tutorial for you. I'm going to call this one Realistic uh, Cursor Movements, I guess. Um, basically, I'm sure all of you guys have maybe tried to make a little menu screen for edits or some kind of fun. And um, I see a lot of cursors that just look really fake and bland and they look like this. You know, it's just like straight keyframes and boring. I mean, that's cool if that's what you want to go for, but you can make realistic uh, keyframes like this. And, uh, you know, could look a little bit more realistic if that's what you want. And I'm just going to show you the trick how to do it. So, let's just uh, go here. I got a bunch of little solids and text and stuff. And I got a little cursor I made pre composed. It is parented to a null object, so I can just uh, change these keyframes and just move it around, and um, yeah, the cursor will follow. But I'm going to make some realistic stuff, and here's how to do it. Let's unkeyframe the position keyframes. So we just have a normal uh, thingy. Let me just reset this real quick. Zero, zero, perfect. So if I move this null, it'll move the cursor. Boom. Let's go up to Window and Motion motion Sketch. There we go. Uh, make sure your background is selected. If not, you'll get uh, just blank. So, background. And um, we're going to go to the beginning here and click Start Capture. Now, nothing will happen yet, but we're going to click and drag to start drawing. So, I'm going to start off the screen and just kind of come in here and, you know, look at this option. And eh, maybe not go down here, kind of move over here, main menu, and just let go. I got all these keyframes for this null object. So let's do a quick RAM preview to see what it looks like. And um, yeah, it's got some uh, organic wiggles because it's you know recorded from your own cursor. Now if it's too fast or too slow, just go ahead and grab all your keyframes, hold down Alt, and drag the last keyframe, and you can stretch everything while keeping the same um, spatial ratio and all that good stuff. So that's pretty much it. A pretty short tutorial, but I think it can be pretty useful if you're going to use any uh, graphic design kind of uh, motion stuff. And yeah, you can also maybe add a little bit of motion blur to your uh, cursor. So let's turn that on. Now, if you can't see it, if it's like still not as blurry as you want it, which I don't see why you would want it too blurry, but just uh, for your information, go to Composition Settings, Advanced, and the shutter angle right here is how fast or how blurry your uh, thing is. So I could bump this up to maybe 500. Now my cursor is going to be really blurry and look uh, really smooth, and you know, might look kind of cool. So that's pretty much it. Be sure to leave a like, favorites, uh, comments if you have any questions, hit me up on Facebook and Twitter, all that good stuff. If you make any cool uh, videos with uh, this technique, go ahead and post a video response and I'll take a look and stuff. So, yep, that's it. Pretty cool stuff. Motion sketch. Alright, that is it. Okay, peace.